What's up guys? Day 9 of my celery juice challenge. Doing really well. Just finished up juicing at the juice shop. I'm off to Columbus, which is about an hour and a half south of where we are, to go plant shopping. There's some really good nurseries. It's dangerous going into those places. But I'm on the hunt for an Audrey ficus, which is it's close to a, fi a fiddle leaf fig, but a little different. Plants. It's a good addiction to have, right? But I'm hoping to find some celery juice in Columbus, Ohio that is organic and freshly pressed. Um, but today we're going to talk about how to navigate a juicery and how to kind of find one in your area that uh, you like and that provides a quality product that you'd be interested in buying. Things that I look for in a juice shop, um, I want it to be 100% organic, I want it to be freshly pressed, and I want it to be completely raw and untreated, not pasteurized or HPP'd or anything like that. First thing I recommend, searching in your Maps app, Juice Shop, or Cold Press Juice, Juice even, and seeing what comes up. From there, you can kind of pick and choose um, what juiceries, if you're lucky to have a juicery in your area. I feel like juice shops are just going to start to pop up everywhere, which is such a fun thought. Almost like a co coffee shop in a lot of communities here within the next five to ten years. Um, every little town, big town, will have juiceries that support and sustain um, that community. So many juice shops are popping up and uh, we'll be able to find juice more readily available. You should be able to tell from their social media or their website if they're organic, um, if they pasteurize. It's, it's kind of, it can be hard to navigate uh, juiceries. Like, it can be frustrating. Just because a juice shop is in business doesn't necessarily mean that they have our best interests as a consumer in mind. So things that I value as a consumer might not be something that they value as a business. It's not unlikely to see juiceries that are unorganic or juiceries that HPP because they as a juice shop are able to reach more people if they pasteurize their juices have a longer shelf life. As a consumer I am in control of what I put in my body. I'm the one doing the research of figuring out if this juicery that I'm going to go to today is organic, if they HPP, if they're fresh because that's what I value. The juicery isn't responsible for those things, for meeting that criteria. They can do whatever they want. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. We're going to go check out some juiceries and see what we can find. I'm pretty sure Native, uh, which is one of the juiceries we love here in Columbus, Ohio, offers celery juice. Got the goods. I'm going to be saving this one for tomorrow morning. I also got this coconut shake. I've been wanting to try this. Organic raw coconut meat, organic raw coconut water and vanilla bean. Yum. Jackpot, 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 jackpot. These are full grown figs for 60 bucks. Guess I'm riding back here. Am I smashing those little ones? I put my seat back. Juice and plants. Juice and plants. All right guys, that wraps it up for this video. I put my celery juice in my mitten to keep it cold until I get home. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.